So the purpose of this uh, video is to show how we can work with functions in the arg expressions of the CPN models and also how we can move these functions into external files which makes it a bit easier to actually maintain and implement uh, the functions. So here's a simple example of a CPN model that just has two places and a single transition but on this outgoing arc on this transition we have a in some sense quite complex uh, arg expressions. Of course it can be much more complex uh, than this but the problem is that it takes up a bit of space in the drawings and also if we need to do the same calculations in other parts of a CPN model then we are essentially duplicating the arg expression. So it's much better to actually move this arg expression into uh, a function and we can do that by adding a declaration which is the actual function and the function needs a name, let's say it's calc and it's going to take an x and then do something and that something is exactly the same as what we have here in the existing arg expression. So now this calc function is <coughs> doing the same calculation as the arg expression here, so instead of the arg expression we can now call the calc function um, with x and it will do the calculation and the effect will be exactly the same as it was before, but we now see that we have a <coughs> somewhat simpler arg expression, it takes up less space in the diagram. <coughs> now when we are going to edit or change this calculation function, we can of course do it in the way we normally do uh, edit declarations inside the CPN model, but it's a bit inconvenient in many ways because it's not so easy to for instance balance parentheses and then we get uh, errors and we don't really have any uh, syntax highlighting uh, either. So one possible solution to this uh, problem is in fact to move these uh, functions into uh, files. So here is the same model as we had uh, before, uh, also with a function used in the arg expression here but now this function is in an external file, it's actually located here, so here we can see the implementation of the function. And inside this uh, editor we now have a syntax highlighting and we have much better support for, uh, <coughs> for instance, matching of uh, parentheses and we have also better capabilities to, for instance, indent the code in however way we would uh, like it. Now in order to use a uh, function like this inside a CPN model, uh, like this calculate function, what we have to do is we have to actually load it in CPN tools. And loading of this file is what is shown here, so there is a use command that one can use to actually load a file with function declarations, and for that we need to say what the file is, and uh, to make it a bit more maintainable we are declaring uh, a value here which is the path to where the file is uh, located and then we take this file path and concatenate the uh, file name. So now CPN tools will actually load this um, file uh, by means of these two declarations and if for some reason we shift the model to somewhere else and the path change, all we have to do is uh, just edit the path to where the files are uh, located. So that was the first part, how we get the files uh, loaded. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if we actually change the implementation of the files, so we go to our editor, we make some kind of uh, change like, like this for instance, then this is not automatically picked up by CPN tools that the file containing the uh, functions are actually changed. So to reload it, uh, we have to trigger a reload of the file and the simplest way to do it is to, for instance, insert a space in the declaration where the file is loaded, then CPN tools will load the file uh, again. So this is all well as long as the function is uh, working, uh, but now and then we may make, make mistakes uh, when we uh, implement uh, the function. So we may, for instance, have it like this where we, for some reason, uh, do not match properly the parentheses and if I now reload the file again I will get uh, an error here. But it's not so easy to see what 
actually is uh, the problem. So to get a better grip on what the problem in this file is, we can also in the individual modules of the <coughs> model actually load the files ourselves. So here we are loading the file using the use command. So we right click and evaluate and we can see here that there is some error in this uh, file in line number four. So we can go into line number four and then we can actually insert the uh, parentheses uh, again. And then we can load the file and now it's working. So in this way it's uh, much easier to actually get a better identification of where the problem in a given file uh, can be can be found. Another aspect of course has to do with how do we uh, how do we actually test the functions that we have uh, implemented. And uh, standard ML can also help us doing this. So here I have written a simple function called test function. It takes three arguments, the function that we want to test, an argument for that function, and then the expected value. And all this test function is doing is to <coughs> invoke the function f on the argument x and see that the result is equal to the expected result. So this function can test, uh, it's a kind of unit test for, uh, for a function. And if we go on here a bit further down, uh, we want to test our calculate uh, function. So what we do is that we take our test function from uh, up here and then we give it the first argument, namely our calculate function from up here. So that gives us uh, a new function, test calculate, which we can then provide with arguments and expected values. And down here there is another function called test cases, uh, which can run a, a list of test cases. So each test case will have a name, and then it will invoke the test calculate uh, function with some argument that is going to be the argument to the uh, calculate function and then the expected uh, value. So in this case, when the, we give it the argument minus one, the expected value of the calculate function is going to be 10. <coughs> and when we give the test calculate or the calculate function the argument five, the expected value is going to be uh, 55. So this one test cases function is also one of the functions that are available here. So we can actually now run the test cases for the function. And we can see that test case one was successful, test case two was successful. Now, if we happen to make uh, a mistake in the implementation of our function, so let's say we have 40 here uh, instead, um, then what we can do is that we can load the function and we can run the test cases again. And now we see that test case number two is actually uh, failing. So this is a small example of how we can run unit testing of the functions that we are using inside the CPN model. It's also possible to run CPN tools in headless mode and then run all these test cases uh, as part of a larger automated uh, test case uh, framework, but this would be the subject of another 